I got to see this film not that long ago, of course, leading up to the new film that I think comes out today. So I think I'm doing a little late, late uploading for, for this film, but I don't mind it. Just talk about the film and edit it right after. But yeah, let's get right into this film. The film that we're talking about is Good Burger. Good Burger is a teen family comedy. A dim-witted teenager and his new co-worker try to save the old burger joint they work for from failing after the opening of a brand new burger restaurant across the street, which plannings to put them out of business. Film's runtime is 95 minutes, film's rating is PG, in color, the movie's directed by Brian Robbins. So Good Burger, I remember seeing this film when I was younger. I think I, I saw it once. I can't say I saw it again afterwards, but I, I, I don't have that much of a memory. Of course, I know the film. I know what's it about. I know the history of this film. Of course, with time, this film has become a cult classic, the film that people love and hate. It, it, it's like back, back and forth. People will love this film and some people will hate it. But I think with time and, and with the years of gone, I think people truly really like this movie. And yeah, after seeing Good Burger, I can say that this movie's really fun like i had a blast watching this movie it's goofy it's dumb but it's just so entertaining from beginning to end and it's really down to of course the characters in this film and i just i just had fun and that and sometimes you just need a movie to just shut the brain off and enjoy and i think good burger is one of those movies that of course is a movie that there's certain moments where you can definitely look at and say yeah this would not uh, this will not be shown today. There's certain things and some things are just uncomfortable to talk about But I really enjoyed this movie. I think it's so much fun and I just really really enjoyed this film And of course you got the performances you got of course Carol Mitchell as Ed which of course you can very much tell that this is a character straight out of freaking Spongebob like yeah, this is the same character Spongebob Squarepants just loves his Love the restaurant, but he's also very dim-witted. And Ed is, is a funny character. It's such a dumb character, but also has heart. And you can tell that he, he loves this restaurant and he, he doesn't want to turn his back on it. And also has a, just a really nice friendship with, with Mr. Kenan Thompson. And I just like, it's, it's a dumb character. It's very idiotic, but he's lovable in a way. He's like Spongebob, but in, in human form. So I enjoyed the character of Ed. You also got his co -per, uh, co uh, co worker Kenan Thompson playing Dexter Reed, and this is of course Kenan Thompson pre SNL. He was very young when he was in this film, and of course now we know he's, he's done so much work. I mean SNL and just other things that he co he cameos in, and yeah, he's good in the movie. You, you can tell this man's funny. He's gonna have a funny career, and I just love the the duo between him and 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 Ed. They have just just great chemistry. They, they are what makes this film as good as it is. And yeah, I like, I like Kenan Thompson. It's cool seeing him young and pre-SNL doing his thing. And you got some of those. Uh, of course, you got the antagonist, uh, Jan uh, Schwarterman playing Kurt Boswell, the the head of the other, the, the burger joint. And yeah, he's a, he's a funny antagonist. He's just antagonist. He's just an asshole kid who's rich and he just antagonizing Good Burger. And yeah, the villain. He's fun. He's he's a, he's a interesting antagonist. He's funny. You got Sinbad, the, the the guy that just gets fucked all the time in this movie. Like he's, he's just he gets he every every minute he's in the movie something bad happens to him. And it's just funny to see that. You got Abe Vigoda as the old man Otis, which that guy was just hilarious. The guy he's a seven year old man, damn near about to croak <laughs> working in a fast food restaurant. That is some of the funniest shit. I mean, there's a scene I don't want to spoil because it's just so funny. That yeah, man, Otis is Otis has been working in that fast food. He still works in fast food and at seven years old. It's like oh my god, it is hilarious, so hilarious. And you got the love interest uh, played by Char Jackson Monique, who's the love interest of of Dexter. And yeah, she's cool. She's fine in the movie. And you also got someone who definitely is a little yeah. It's Definitely did not age well. You got Dan Schneider as Mr. Bailey. And yeah, he plays the head of the Good Burger. Who he gets irritated by Ed's uh, tactics. And yeah, it's yeah he, he's fine in the movie. But it's it definitely it, it, it's quite difficult knowing who Dan Schneider is a person. And it's just hard to really look at that character. And be like, oh my god, Dan Schneider, what the fuck? 
you know, so yeah, he's he's in the movie, he's there, and all the performances are good. Ed and Kenan Thompson are really what makes this film as good as it is. You got the screenplay by Mr. Dan Schneider, Kevin Coppolo, and Heath Seifert, and yeah, it is a it is a goofy film. It is stupid. But it's just so entertaining. And, and there's some good heart in the movie, specifically between Kenan Thompson and Ed. There's a certain moment where it's like, oh. Like, where you look at Ed, like, yeah, he's a little dumb. He's a buffoon. But you, know, you can tell that he truly has heart and truly cares for Kenan Thompson. It's just really loud. It's really lovely stuff. Like, little moments like that that really just really makes you like, oh, that's nice. And you also got the music uh, composed by Stuart Copeland, known for Raining Stones. Fresh and Four Days in September. And yeah, it has that Nickelodeon score, that TV, straight to TV movie score to it. So it's nothing out of the ordinary. And the chemistry between Kenan Thompson and and Mr. Uh, uh, Kel Mitchell is great. These guys have such fantastic chemistry when it comes to just this film. They, they work so well together. They have that funny back and forth and it's just great. I love the two. And you also got DP by Mark Alberg, known for the cinematography for Reanimator, The Late Shift, and The Second Civil War. And it's a pretty well shot film. It, it, it's shot pretty well. The editing by Anita Brandt Borgoyne is good. This is a, a short film, an hour and 35 minutes, if I remembered. And it's pretty well edited. Every Everything that happens in this film, I think, is there. It, it deserves to be there. It's, it's, and I like how they kept some of the the hearts between Kenan Thompson and, and Mr. Kale Mitchell. That was good. I mean, I am glad they kept some of that. Because it really, because Ed is a character. You, it's a, just an idiot. Like, it's not someone that you like. But I just like how they put in some shit. Like, oh, man, he's actually a really caring person and just a really nice guy and just loves his burger joint. And I, I, it's just, there's heart there that keeps it from being just dumb. And, hey, the production design by Stephen J. Jordan is good. I love the vehicle, specifically the Burger Mobile, which is funny. And just, the, yeah, man, it has that good production design. And I really enjoyed Good Burger. I, I had fun. I laughed. I just had a fun time. It's not a movie that I would look at and be like, yeah, this is, this is amazing. This is a top-tier film. But it's just enjoyable. It's just fun. It has that late 90s feel to it, which is always something to enjoy. And just that Nickelodeon. And really just growing up with Nickelodeon. Grew up with the Spongebobs, the freaking iCarly, Drake and Josh. And Nickel Nickelodeon has been there for me since I was a child, since I was very young. And it was just cool getting to see this film and kind of looking back at it. Like, oh, man, this gives me that old classic Nickelodeon feel to it and I really enjoyed Good Burger. I had a blast watching. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. I'm not gonna say this is like a great film. Some might say it's not even a good movie but I, I, I can't lie and say I did not enjoy myself and had fun watching Good Burger. So I'm gonna give it a solid three out of five stars. I had a really good time uh, with this film. So those are my thoughts for Good Burger and hopefully the second one is good. I don't have hopes for that one. It'll be a modern, modernized film which of course Good Burger had the reason why I just enjoy that film a lot. It just has that 90s feel to it. And of course, this film is going to be very modernized, which I'm not a huge fan of. So we'll see. We'll see what Good Burger 2 gives us. <laughs>